right about now. Your watch, APAC premiere. Jason, I called that, and you know, hundreds of people were here to see it. So I'm thinking of the Lego movie of Batman first try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Hollywood, it is. Now you, uh, you brought up Sam Sara there as well. I think it's a great point. I mean, we've seen Reaper actually be much more of a go-to on, on this particular map, especially this first point. I want to see May. I want to see May because we talked about this before. Attacking or defending May, her Blizzard completely could. Uh, envelops the point, the capture point. You put a blizzard down, no one can fight you in that direction. It gives you a lot of control to capture the point in general. But also, if you do get a good freeze off, which we saw out of D on Vichy just the, or just yesterday, you completely turn around the tides of a, of a fight. I don't know. I, I want to see more of all strike. Like they're they're a good team. They they have really good mechanics in general. They're just struggling with the smallest thing, which actually doesn't turn out to be too small for them. It's turned out to be the Achilles heel of dealing with the McCree, dealing with maps. I wonder how. I wonder how obvious it is to them as well. I mean, we got a privileged position here of sort of being overseers That's and true. seeing That's true. a lot of things that, I mean, that All Strike can't see. I wonder how easy it is to actually get that feedback loop going and going, hey guys, we're getting correct by it. I mean, you can look at the scoreboard and go, well, I keep dying in McCree, so there must be something going on here, but I wonder. Well, they also have a, a seventh player in the roster. Keep in mind, we're in China. We've actually had quite a few different teams who have more than six people on the team to yep. sub in. Uh, we saw Huey yesterday. I think that was for Vici Gaming. Um, they have tonight who I'm assuming is watching the games and has to be able to tell them, hey guys, you know, you, I appreciate they know where they're lacking or where they're messing up, but they're able to give them that third person perspective, right? The seventh person, I guess you call it. If that's his role, then yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm, sure they, I'm sure they know about it. That's why I think we've seen such a change, a wild change in their compositions. Something we didn't talk about actually before I wanted to bring up, Ty Rong, who's actually the manager of um, AF Blue, is actually coaching um, NGA. Yeah, I, so... When we when we looked that up, it was it was true. I'm not sure how true it still is, but the fact that you have the guy who put together MIG Frost originally, who now transitioned to AF Blue, yeah. coaching both these two teams, kind of playing gives you in a, the Korean World Cup team. There you go. Yeah, uh, it gives you a huge advantage for NGA, and um, I think that's why we saw NGA kind of, even though dropped the first map against AF Blue, pretty one-sidedly, they were able to come back. They were able to pull themselves together and kind of look at that first map and analyze what went wrong and right, and kind of work around that. It was definitely one of the better series we saw, Jason. I yeah. Enjoyed the one thoroughly. So, all right, back on the face cams here, guys, just for you. And you can see, look at look at this deadly intent in Samsara's eyes. He's on the far right. He's like, I am so in the zone right now. And to be fair, AS normally joking around now. I mean, they need to get pretty serious about this one. They don't. I mean, lose this map, and you have to play in the wild card on the weekend. So there's still a lot of risk if you're not even making the main tournament next week. So, gotta be on guard here. Hollywood is uh, just a, just a curious pick here in general to see. And and Junkrat? We're going to see a Junkrat I just saw on one of the screens. I'm okay uh, with that. With the awesome stage. You can see the screens of the individual players. Uh, if you're in the audience, you guys are in Shanghai and want to come to Defensive, tuning. right? Defensive Junkrat. Yeah, a defensive Junkrat, which we haven't seen in quite a long time, actually, which can work out relatively well. NGA would be the ones to switch things up. Or at least instead of playing the Genji, instead of playing Tracer, he's going to be playing on the Junkrat, which I don't know if All Strike's actually predicting. Well, All Strike actually has a Reinhardt now. So the one time they get a Reinhardt is going to get pretty hard counted by this Junkrat. I mean, RLE is going to make it very, very nasty as well. You can see that shield just getting chipped away now. Remote Mine being thrown in. All Strike have no defense now. They're just sort of forced to run for cover. Nicely done. RLE picks off a 11 520 as he tries to get around the side. I'm going to say that name so many different ways and I don't even care. It's five Perhaps, Steve, if you can change it up every time. Oh, oh, maybe, that may be a limited amount of variations there. Nicely thrown grenade, though. You can see RLE just causing so many problems. Watch All Strike's health bars here as he pressures them down. Samsara is super low. I almost, if, if, you've got to be careful reading Samsara's name here. If you're reading it incorrectly, you're going to make an ass out of you <laughs> and me. But, uh, Rip Tie is available here for RLE, so I mean, that's pretty darn quick to get his first ult. I think that's why I actually struggled to say his name a couple of times, because I read it, I was like, oh, wait a minute, Jason. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, in the meantime, RLE, the work he's been able to do, which is to spam away, you pointed it out, you just watch the health bars, you watch any sort of shields they have. You need the Lucio here, most crucially. Uh, <laughs> 11.52.0 needs to speed boost them in at the right time, but more importantly also dodge a trap. You need that speed to deal with them. Even a Genji deals so well with a Junkrat, but we've seen All Strike struggle to pull out a Genji unless it's King of the Hill. And then that shield being broken yet again. You can see that he's, I mean, there's triple tank here for All Strike, and Rain's definitely going to be charged up all the time. That's not a concern for him right now. It's the fact that he can't get close enough to do damage without being picked off now. This could be a little bit awkward here. Oh, well, you go for the Riptide, goes straight up top side. 11-5, 20 falls, and so does Yongban, and that's going to hurt here for All Strike. The fact. 
that you have the balls to send that ult right up there when you're going to be pressured from behind. That is just scary. RLE is out of control. Somebody stop him. He now he gets to set up some more infrastructure for traps and the like. That's just scary. Just as we talked about, you know, maps being the person to really watch out for if you're all strike, the person you need to kill. Now RLE's become the number one enemy for them because he's the one just spamming away, constantly hammering down with the with the, sh with the damage from the grenades, but they've switched things up. They've gone to a Winston, so they have the ability to jump on some, but who's there to assist 9139? I think, I think, um, well, I think Sensar should play Genji or let Rain do it, at least and swap the Zarya over here. Give the Genji Winston, get something that can jump on RLE right now to deal with it. But again, Graviton Surge coming in. Yeah, but Junkrat's like the ideal counter to Winston. Look at the spam he's been able to do. Even with Powder Grenades, just not enough healing to keep them alive. He's been able to come into the side. He's gonna have Rift Tire again momentarily. He just saw Sensar teleport behind them. And they, where were you teleporting to? See ya! Uh, oh. Gets knocked up in towards the air, and a Reaper Copter would have been good right then. At least maybe would have softened his fall a little bit, but Samsara didn't even have his ultimate there, so I think that's just desperation from All Strike. I mean, even at this stage now, a minute 15 left, just to get the nano boost on Samsara and hope that he does enough damage to generate his ult. But guess what? There was no one there from NGA because they'd already pushed forward so far. Give me Hanzo. Come on, give me Hanzo. I'll strike. Hanzo is so good on this point because you can force it back into this area. The, the ultimate you can pop down can completely force the enemy team back into the cafe or vice versa out of the cafe Diva, into why? the open area. Uh, and, okay, so Diva's not too bad because you can stop basically all of his, his grenades from coming through. But you're basically investing into that where you won't have it for maps anymore if a dead eye is going to be coming through. Grab Switch comes in. They don't have any follow up though. They don't have a dead eye themselves to completely eliminate them. Oh, even God, no. oh the Riptide comes in and only gets on towards East, but it couldn't be a lot nastier there. RLE spreads a lot of damage as well. And he's going to send Rain heading straight back up to where it comes from generally. However, Samsara is able to make good work happen there with the Death Blossom and All Strike. Finally, getting on towards this point, maintaining control now, pushing back. They know they can't afford to have NGA sneak back on, and they're going to get this payload moving, Jason. They spent a lot of time doing so as well. They gave NGA so much room to work, and instantly, RLE switches off the Junkrat. Now it's Genji time. Okay, so if Samsara and 9139 group up together, they can actually take this high ground, because you can teleport up, and you can protect uh, your Reaper with the Defense Matrix, though he's already been desuited. Yeah, so they have the ability to take the high ground. The problem is, will they have the ability to maintain it? We have maps up there and RLE, the parent, even if Fury jumping on Winston. It's going to be very tough for All Strike to really get comfortable coming to the second point. Not to mention, if NG are going to hold this aggressive, what are they doing? That's, okay, this, yeah. That spot doesn't even work anymore. Yeah, a mild overextension there, I feel. But it's working out here because RLE gets to get into the back line. I mean, Fury generating so much threat on his own allows the Genji just to sneak in and stab where he needs to and get the assassinations. Fury, okay, so he gets cut down now. And if you're NGA, you're like, all right, boys, we maybe just back up a little bit here. I don't know why Fury went that far. Maybe Rain was low when he was close to killing him, but yeah, you push past the enemy spawn behind it. A bit weird, but 9139 gets up, then drops back down there as well. He doesn't have a lot of backup, so he's just going to take chunk damage, and that defense matrix obviously can only be used in intermittently in those situations, but now he might actually try and get a self-destruct up here. This could be quite deadly. Just try and boop your way, get some knockdowns. Dead Eye going to come through here as well, and he's forced to just back right up. He doesn't want to deal with that one, but we're going to have a, a, a nano boost coming in over towards the right heart here on this fight, and East would do a lot of work here. Are really going to waste a lot of the Dragon Blade time just purely having to reflect? Urshada catches onto his heels there in a fire strike. The charge in should be enough to finish him off. Just like that, all strike after after really struggling on that first point and the overextension of Fury has been allowing them to push this payload up. The NG is going to have a second chance to actually defend this one with Arlie switch over to Tracer and actually the damage that 9139 is going to do. Watch his Oprah percent tick up here uh, if they're still going to be coming that direction. They go the, the other door out. Uh, to contest. It's a good call um, this man. Yeah, sure. definitely. Uh, but even Fury's been able to jump the point to contest for now because they don't want to fight it once even closer to the checkpoint. Oh, maps, this is nice. The maps are even being attacked still. Yet again, he's not being controlled at all. And just like that, all strike going to fall. Yep. And uh, they're going to have to back away from this one there as well. The remaining members of all strike just trying to get away. But 11 5 20 gets picked off there. Maps looking for a little bit more. I mean, this is an ideal situation here. I don't think there's any way of uh, 91 39 really escaping that one. He could have resuited, I think, but he was going to get killed anyway. So, NGI re established. 43 seconds left. This is crunch time for All Strike. They have some key ultimates to work with here. Um, I don't know if the Diva self destruct is really going to make a big difference, but the Soundberry and Samsara getting aggressive definitely will be important. High ground control, All Strike don't have time to maintain that or to even gain that in itself. So they need to be very careful about the shots coming in from above. To be fair, Graviton self destruct can actually work really well for them if they're able to pull off because there's no shield to actually stop this one from happening. But there's a Soundberry already being popped. Samsara is being forced to back away. The Transcend is being popped uh, out of, uh, it looks like, NGA so far, but the payload is not being touched. There's 15 seconds left. You need to make sure to have one person on at all times. And Mass has finally been pressured out, but he's not killed. That he's was not really dead. nice. That was perfect. 
stretched up now. We're gonna see Maps coming in with a dead eye. Who's gonna be able to catch on to? Well, no one at this stage, but still free to fight towards the back. Earth Shadow comes in, but Maps avoids it. He goes in. Bit of aggression coming out from Maps. This is a good time to do it. Flash comes in. Now he's gonna get the decent on 9139 in the midair. Gets picked off like a clay pigeon. Perfect work from NGA. And it will hold all strike at bay. I've gotta say though, Little Cat. He kept Shadow Cat alive the whole time. It was another boosted Reinhardt from East pushing the Zarya out. But that Transcendence was used just to keep the Zarya alive because when she came back in, there was a shield that went onto Maps when he went aggressive to set him up for the winning in that fight. And yeah, that kill on the Reaper and a kill on the Samsara to be able to turn that one around to, to be able to prioritize the right target within three people known as a Diva, there's a Reinhardt next to, or a Diva and a Zarya next to you. You will take the Reaper down with the right click. That's the ballsy play. And also the shot he got on the D.Va when D suited was fantastic. And yeah, uh, like, I think they're feeling comfortable. In all fairness, I mean, when you get D suited, it can create some fairly predictable trajectories for ejected Divas. But still, it was nice to watch. And yeah, I think so, Jason. I mean, the first point hold, if that wasn't enough to make you feel that NGA are looking the stronger team right now, holding in the Wild West stage definitely is. And that's frustrating for All Strike here as well. They're probably hoping for a lot more, Jason, picking this map especially, but. The one time you bring a Reinhardt in, to be fair, correct decision, right? Bring a Reinhardt into that part of the map, I can I can accept that, right? To be fair, maybe even a Roadhog, Winston, you know, Triple Tank plus Hanzo would even actually be better in that situation, especially against the Junkrat, but he gets shut down. RLE had so much time just to run ramp and get a lot of damage done. I mean, he's heading on the fast track for another MVP performance, but it is sink or swim here now for All Strike. They must win this one if they want to be auto seated in towards the main tournament next week and avoid playing on the weekend. There were so many comps you could have ran, actually, in that in that situation. You could go with, like, Reaper, McQueen. Um, yep. You don't necessarily need the Roadhog. You want, like, maybe a Zarya, because Zarya loves Junkrat just because of the amount of free energy you can get off of him. I mean, I only, I only bring up the Roadhog-Hanzo combo because it's so good on, on 100 no, no, no. maps in general just for the pick-off. And, and yeah, exactly. You have two people who can instantly kill someone, and, and you also have to destroy shields at the same time. So, yep. yeah, maybe that kind of switch up. We haven't seen Hanzo at all, where yesterday in Group A, we saw Hanzo in... I want to say the majority of the games. I can't remember exactly how many off the top of my head, but it was pretty convincing the amount of play. We had Siegel playing it quite a few times. Had some great play in Hollywood in particular. Um, I think that was up against Vici the first time they met. But nonetheless, this could potentially be the final half here of this game. NGA, they pass that distance of 98.17 meters and get themselves through to a guaranteed slot into the playoffs. RLE can force All Strike back here as well by flanking. He could force them to respond from him getting in behind, but now this harassment from the front seems to work with him just fine. So the mate comes in for 9139, but he's already dead. RLE's already picked him off, gets himself a second. He's going down. He's finding all the key targets and Samsara doing his very best here to try and respond. He gets two important targets of his own there, but he gets flushed out. Maps coming forward now, finding some aggression given that his compatriot, the Tracer, is down. Little Cat almost kills Rain there. Fury comes in. He's the last man standing on the point here. NGA going to be able to push forward and take this first point rather rapidly here. They won't take it immediately. There will be time for All Strike to reinforce. It was just Fury and I think one other player defending. Well, bro, we've, been, we've seen a switch out of All Strike. 9139 hasn't touched May this entire series that we did play in the qualifiers. And Fury's going to get frozen up back towards his teammates. Already comes already back again. in. He's going to die a second time. Somehow this man just can't stay alive on May when everyone else makes it look so easy. East is going to fall to the pole spot coming through. And Arlie off to the side of the cafe is just constantly being a nuisance. He's just constantly attacking from the backside. And Yongbon just can't get the ability to feel safe. Arlie is demolishing All Strike right now. There's nothing they can do about him. I mean, it's enough to even try and have to focus on a Tracer getting up behind you and getting up in the grill, but RLE hasn't been trying to flank. He's going straight at them, straight towards 9139, especially. You're picking that May off so early on. Target selection is so damn good. He can't even lay the Earth Shadow down. He had his hammer up in the air. He was trying to make it happen, but no dice, no chance. Uh -oh. Now Blizzy comes in, that's important. Samsara can work off the back of this one quite comfortably, but he gets caught in the Graviton Surge. Yeah, but Maps, he has the Deadeye already challenged. He picks up the two kills. The Nanibus doesn't matter. They're finally able to solidify that. That could have been good for All Strike if Maps got pulled into the Graviton, but nonetheless, now NGA are going to push this aggression. Maps gets another kill. And this is very looking very like the Grand to close this out too. There is snowball potential here as well because All Strike, um, just, just as they lost a few players, the point was taken. So this payload is going to sort of outpace them to a degree. You can see Maps looking over towards the elevator on top of the saloon just in case someone's trying to boost up here. But this means that NGA can have their high ground control. They're not going to be forced off. All Strike, they have no time to get up there themselves. They have to wait on the elevators and that's never reliable. So Samstara, I mean, Samstara, out of anyone, could probably get up there if you wanted to. But look at the pressure coming in from the top side. He's, you know, that's just Winston letting him know that they are present with the high ground. Map's going to come through as well. It's Transcendence being used here on the side of NGA, and you can see Maps as well. Just at his leisure to peek in. He gets two. That's important pickups there. Reese and Samsara to fall down. That's massive, but NGA have lost a few themselves here. Maps is going to be required to make it happen, but 9139, mate, what are you doing? The McCree coming up behind him. Easy pickups there as well. Primal Wage Winston gets put to sleep, but Fury picks himself back up and gets on with the job. 
Ah, she's just not being controlled yet again. He has the dead eye available. He's really going to go to the side to actually get a different angle to maybe pull us off because the distance, the marker's right around the corner here. The hopes of all strike getting through the playoffs is completely falling by the wayside. There's no shield left to go. Maps with the dead eye. Can he break through? And Yule will gets get himself one. one, and that's Oops. East going down. He trades out there for Samsara, but now Roli, he's up on that trace, so we know what he can do with this one here. Samsara needs to respond, and 91 39 as well. Combining well, but now Roli's still causing problems as well. Little Cat even gets the kill on towards Samsara. Time's running out, and all striker running out of players here. It's a desperate ice block here for 91 39, but even the wall may not save him here. Roli constantly getting in towards the back line. There's nowhere you can hide when this tracer is running rampant. Blizzard comes in, but to no avail, it's NGA just backing away from it. Roli put to sleep with a bionic grenade, got me enough to kill him. Last chance for Strike the pressure on towards this point, but RLE still not being responded to. And it looks like Sam Sarge is going to be able to get them in the nick of time to force them back. Looks like they have enough men. Maps is being forced with only 90 HP to back away, but still he's not being taken down. Somehow no one's dived into this back line. And even with Youngbon using that ultimate on the east to buy some extra seconds, it looks like All Strike have been able to defend for now. But NGA still have two minutes and 40 seconds to close out this game. The distance they have to go is just under six meters. Yeah, a lot of time. And then the payload's going to roll back a little bit here. Sam Sarri, though, he got wrecked. He went in for the uh, for the Reaper Copter there as well, was booped away by Hysteria. And Hysteria died as a result, but that could have been even nastier than it was for NGA. Problem is now for All Strike, you have to fight on the payload. You cannot force the fight yourself, because if anyone falls off, this map's can drop directly on the payload to finish off the game himself. And you can see him already waiting for this. They have to be so careful. The ground is going to be coming through, and he pulls them all together. The whole pulse ball comes in up early. Maps gets the shot falling off the high ground. Oh! Get the second on the raid, and that's going to do it. All Strike have nothing left. That's massive. Sam Sarah, the last player to fall, the last best unit of strength for All Strike is being sent packing, and so will All Strike. NGA get themselves into the last match of the day. All Strike are going to have to compete for their spot in the main tournament. Through the wild cards on the weekend, NGA coming out just too good. Mitch, the shots maps hit there at the end. When the pressure was on for him to hit the shots, he was able to do it. It's got to be him. It's got to be him picking up how many kills he did in this entire series. It's got to be the play of the game. No, it's Fury, actually, of all people. I don't even know which play this is referring to on this. I mean, the whole reason that RLE and Maps can oh. play as safely as they can is because of the plays of guys like Fury. And we talked about NGA and Maps being able to do what he can do when we talked about because their front line is so good. Fury is a sick Winston. Absolutely sick. Beautifully played by him. I mean, to be fair, if you get a Tesla cannon into a Graviton Surge, you're probably going to get a lot of damage done. We see a lot of yeah. these play the games from there, but 